first, fast, accurate. You're watching WSBT Channel 22 News at 11. Good evening, everybody. I'm Diane Daniels. Thanks for joining us. The new turf, the new uniforms, the academic fraud investigation. But today, all of that certainly took a back seat to the impressive performance of Everett Golson. And WSBT Sports Director Pete Byrne joins us now with some of the many highlights of that game. There were a lot of them. I think a lot of Irish fans left drier than they thought and yes. probably very, very pleased today. You know, we all knew that the Irish missed Everett Golson in 2013. I don't think we realized how much they missed him until this afternoon. If you were hoping to see Everett Golson pick up where he left off after an undefeated campaign in 2012, you're probably pretty happy tonight. His first touchdown pass in 21 months, also the longest of his college football career. A 75-yard bomb to Will Fuller. Golson threw for 295 yards and two touchdowns. But it's what he did with his feet that was even more impressive. Nothing here in the second quarter, so he pulls it down, takes a Superman leap into the end zone. Everett also runs for 41 yards and three touchdowns today, so five scores in all leading the Irish to a 48-17 opening day win. That was big, um, and that just you know goes back to you know the community we got here, uh, you know being forgiven and you know supporting me through you know through it all, man. Uh, it was a good feeling for me. You know, obviously the story Everett Golson was electric. He uh, kept his eyes downfield. Um, you know, knew when to run, knew when to throw it. Uh, and, you know, those are things that, you know, we really talked about. We didn't want uh, to overcoach him and that we were going to allow him today to get outside the pocket and be a football player. He certainly was that today. One guy who didn't play, though, was one of the team captains, Austin Collins, which we found out before the game. He got injured in MCL sprain a couple days ago in practice. He's going to miss two to four weeks, Brian Kelly said, so it sounds like he's almost definitely out for next week's game against Michigan, which Irish fans would like to hear. Whether or not he's back after that, we'll just kind of have mm -hmm. to wait and see. But much more from this game coming up later in sports, including more from Everett Golson mm. in a uh, pretty fantastic yeah. game back after a year away. Also fun just to watch him on the sidelines, Pete. He was beaming. A lot of enthusiasm. That's the kind of kid he is, the kind of teammate he is, too. He was very mm -hmm. happy when Malik Zaire got yeah. into the game and had some success. We will be showing you that as well. Uh, all in all, Pretty successful yeah. opening Saturday for the Irish. Good stuff. Mm -hmm. Thanks, Pete. We'll check with you later. Well, fans today also thrilled with how Everett Bolson played. Now, prior to today's game against Rice, they hadn't had a chance to watch him in a season game since January of 2013. Nothing else. Golson's got a wonderful arm. He throws straight passes, pass, pass, and he's fast. It's going to be a surprising year. As I told one guy, it's 10 and 2 for me. So. We'll see if those predictions hold up. Meantime, the specter of the weather that was such a concern for fans the whole week leading up to today didn't turn out to be much of a factor after all. As WSBT Zach Crenshaw tells us, that was just fine with the Notre Dame faithful. We were really, really nervous all day long. Actually, all week long I've been following it. And uh, 80 to 90 percent chance of storms all day has been pretty, uh, pretty frightening. There were ominous clouds all game long. But that didn't scare Irish fans away. I'm not going to miss the first game of the year. I want to be able to look back 20 years from now and say I was here at the first game of the new, new turf. The rain came in the third quarter, but didn't last long. It was very quick, and we were very prepared, put the ponchos right on, and we didn't skip a beat. I was down getting a concession, so I sheltered out most of it. Many expected the worst, so nearly everyone was prepared. I expected to probably be uh, the evacuation of the stadium, but pretty good. Just got wet a little bit. It seemed like in unison we all put our ponchos and pullovers on all together, and we just picked up uh, right back into the Irish football. And the Irish gave quite their performance on their new all-weather turf. As a high school football coach myself, I know that the turf provides us great footing in conditions like these. So uh, I think there's a lot of happy Irish football players today not playing in the grass. So happy fans for the home opener. Already looking ahead to next week's final matchup in the longstanding rivalry against Michigan. Zach Crenshaw, WSBT, Channel 22 News. And we have got all of your game day coverage on our website. You can find post-game interviews, photo galleries, links to Notre Dame's game day website so you can start planning ahead for next week's game against Michigan. Plus, Pete will be back with us for a more in-depth look at the game coming up right here on this newscast a little bit later in sports. Meantime, you can find all that on WSBT.com.